In this video, I will explain how Scholar app works. Students use Scholar when they are studying at home, completing homework, preparing for a test, etc. During this time, naturally there are questions that they are unable to solve and they come to Scholar to get answers to these questions. Asking questions on Scholar is really easy. This is what the app looks like. The button at the center says ask a question. When I click on this button, it opens up the camera and now I can click a picture of any question from the book. Once I've clicked a picture, I need to crop it to select exactly one question. This is how I'm telling the app that I need to help, that I need help with this particular question. Once I click submit, the app is now trying to understand the question from the image. It's trying to read the image, solve it and produce a detailed step-by-step -step solution. And you can see that within four to five seconds, the app has given a detailed solution to this question. And all of this is happening uh, fully uh, programmatically. There is no human intervention required. If the solution or if the answer is not clear to the student, there is also a video solution, which is a three to four minute video where a teacher is explaining step by step how to solve this particular question. Now let's say the student is not satisfied with this solution or they have some follow on questions. They can use the button on the bottom right, which says ask on community. Scholar community is a platform where there are tens of thousands of students and teachers. And by clicking this button, I can post this question on the community. So it says somebody will shortly answer your question. Now it's a very healthy community and questions are getting posted almost every five to 10 seconds on this community. And most of the students are able to get a solution within 10 to 15 minutes, which comes either from fellow students or from some scholar expert. Now, scholar has a unique capability that, could, that it can answer questions, not just in English, but also other regional Indian languages. For example, uh, let's try to solve a question in Hindi, which is one of the most popular languages in India and over 50% of students study in uh, Hindi language. So I'll click ask a question. And here I have a book from a Hindi medium school. Once again, I click a picture. Next step is to crop the picture to select exactly one question. And then I click submit. So now the app is trying to read Hindi characters, which is a unique capability that scholar has and then solve this question and produce a solution which is also in Hindi language. And because all of this is happening uh, through the algorithm, uh, it can be scaled not just to Hindi, but also to many other languages. And you can see that the question has produced a detailed step-by-step -step solution in Hindi. And this entire conversion from English to Hindi has been done uh, using scholars in-house technology and algorithms. And once again, you can see a video solution and the student has the option of posting the question on community. So this is how the app works. It's really simple to use.